Hey everybody, I want to talk about the difference between uh, mechanical uh, cue and electrical cue. And the way I'm going to do it is by standing on this 21 iPal woofer. So let's see if I can do this without buckling it. So it's a pretty strong cone, which you want for durability in your cabinet. But it's, it's all the way at the bottom. It's at the bottom limit of the suspension. So let's, let's short it out and see how far it moves now. I'm just gonna uh, short the electrical terminals together using some wire, and that's gonna uh, make the motor take uh, pretty much as much control as it can over the cone position. You can see how I can barely move it with one hand, and then if I just short it by holding the, the copper on here and here. Now, oh, that's stiff. So with the electrical system shorted, the motor has really strong control over the cone and how far, how much force it takes to move it. And so if I try to stand on it again, you'll see it takes a lot more of my weight to, uh, to get it to, to collapse. And I can still get it to go pretty close to the suspension limit, but I'm really having to put all my weight on it before it really goes all the way down. It's a little marred up for me standing on it, but uh, you can see that, uh, okay, I dented the coil, the cone a little bit here. You know, the, the coil can take a ton of force, but it's distributed perfectly evenly. And unfortunately my feet are not quite circular enough because uh, uh, if you do the math on how much force the, the motor system can put out, it's, it's enough to lift a person, uh, certainly on this woofer. Having stood on this, there's no, uh, there's no rub. So that's what your mechanical system does for you. I should stop here and clarify that what seemed like a really clever demonstration while I was walking the dog the other day is actually not a very good technical description of what makes a loudspeaker better than another loudspeaker. It is absolutely true that in especially a subwoofer having a very strong suspension and a durable heavy cone are very important to durability. The strong suspension keeps the coil from rocking and keeps it moving in a straight line and the thick cone provides durability so the cone doesn't blow out, and it also provides uh, better damping so that audio coming, trying to come through the back of the cone doesn't, doesn't come all the way through and you hear it through the front. It also provides uh, the DC offset setting for the, the woofer so that the, the cone keeps on coming back to the zero point because what the electrical system does is it provides an acceleration. It doesn't track the cone position or else limiting for excursion will be a lot easier. It decides how fast the cone can start and how fast the cone can stop and provides the damping that's so critical to sound quality and the efficiency that you get with a very strong electrical motor is absolutely critical. The reason that this particular demonstration didn't work is because when I stood on the cone, I provided a DC force. So I just pushed directly down on the cone. I wasn't jumping around because I don't have the upper arm strength to stand on a woofer and jump around for a while. If I had been jumping around, you would have seen an effect from the shorting of the woofer because the electrical system would have been providing a lot of damping. You now know that our heavy duty subwoofers can stand an entire human's weight on them and come out more or less fine. Yeah, the dust cap's a little crumpled, but uh, I think that this woofer will still work fine. And so everybody at BNC North America, plus one guy from next door, sign this woofer and we're gonna give it away. I'll show you how in the comments. Hope you had fun and I'll try and think up something uh, maybe less pointless to do next time.